a new week, Monday again. And I have like the Sunday scaries, but because of the time difference, I get the Monday morning because I start work Monday evening. Anyway, I've got an assignment due next week for uni. So I need to do a ton of uni work today if I can. So I'm gonna go to one of my fave cafes to work from. Um, it's really cool in there, I'll show you uh, once I get there. But yeah, another week, lots of work to do. Um, yeah, don't really have much else to say at this point. Thursday. Can't believe it's Thursday. This week has gone so fast. Um, the week here just goes so quickly. I think, I don't know, it's weird. Like, since being here, I just don't never count down to the weekend anymore. I think it's because, like, during the day, I can do whatever I want. Um, especially now that the clocks have gone back. I've got, like, I'm free until five. So, yeah, I don't really notice, like, the days of the week. Um, it's half 10, got up like kind of early today, but I've just been reading my Kindle. I'm reading How to Kill Your Family by Bella Mackey at the moment. I'm really enjoying it. Um, I never ever have been a reader before, but um, this year, like since being away really, I'm on to, I think, book number 10 of the year, which is crazy. I set myself a, a New Year's resolution to read two books this year. And I'm currently on book number 10 and I'm halfway through it. I finished, I started it on Sunday. So yeah, I'm doing pretty well with reading this year, which I'm really happy about. So kind of like, I'm not really like massive on romantic ones. I read, um, what have I read this year? Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, I really enjoyed. Um, I also enjoyed, uh, fuck, what's it called? Song of Achilles, is that what it's called? Can't even remember. Um, I loved Daisy Jones and the Six. That was like one of my favorite ones that I've read this year. Um, and I also really enjoyed Counterfeit by Kirsten Chen. So I've got another one of hers, uh, Soy Sauce for Beginners, which I've, on my reading list um but yeah and then i'm really enjoying this one um, i think today my friend's ill so i'm gonna go and drop her a banana and some water in a second um she just lives a few doors down from me and then i might go to a new cafe uh, i've been there for a spin class before and then they have like a huge open cafe next door, which is like good, supposedly good for co-working. I think it's quite expensive from looking at their menu, but um, I'm not buying dinner this week, so I can try a new cafe, even if it is expensive. But yes, yeah, so I'm gonna get ready and head there, I think. So I tried a new cafe today, but I just literally could not concentrate there. So I ended up coming back and I've just ordered a coffee. Um, I'm just going to do some work in my room instead. It's kind of, kind of a cloudy day. But yeah, the cafe that I went to, I've never been there before. It's called Zin Cafe and it was nice, but I didn't really enjoy the smoothie bowl that I ordered. And I was just sat at like a table. It was so busy there. It's like a co-working cafe um and yeah i was sat at a table where i just like couldn't get in the zone there was not really any free tables um but the coffee there was really good 
Um, so I feel like I will go back, but maybe a bit earlier than I headed this morning um, so that maybe I could get a better table next time. They also do, I've been to Zycle, which is next door. It's like owned by the same people and they do a really good spin class. So I feel like maybe next time I go, I'll go and do the spin and then go straight there and get some work done like after I've exercised. So yeah, I think I'm gonna book onto a spin class next week, maybe like Monday or Tuesday. But yeah, I'm just back now. Um, my coffee is about to arrive, so yeah. Just uh, made myself some dinner. I made like a ramen. Um, I'm trying to not order so much food on Gojek but yeah day two of ramen also I just got bitten like six times in the kitchen and I literally was out there for like five minutes <laughs> and now it's really itchy um stressing out a little bit because Glastonbury tickets go on sale a bit later so they go on sale at 6 p.m in the UK which is 2 a.m here so I finished work at one and then um, got to stay up and try and get tickets so we'll see we'll update you tomorrow if I manage to get any anyway I'm gonna eat my dinner and then finish work hopefully get Glastonbury tickets and I will see you tomorrow Went out last night, went to Lola's for dinner, which was really nice. Great Mexican food, 50K margaritas, unreal. And then we went to Shishi for the free bar, nine to 11. Then we left and went to Mexicola for a few hours. And then back to Shishi because our friends were there. Um, yeah and then came home i was very drunk so decided to call it a night and now i'm just chilling um we didn't get glastonbury tickets the other day they go on sale so I'll just turn my laptop down just watching a bit of Eamon and beck um yeah glastonbury tickets go on sale again today at 9 a.m uk time so 5 p.m in Bali and yeah I've got like an exciting project that I want to work on as well so today I just decided to order coffee and a croissant instead of going out and yeah I'm gonna shower in a bit um just watching some YouTube while I drink my coffee then I'm gonna shower and do some fun creative work I feel like my creativity is back. Um, I went to the beach the other day with some people who I live with and they were like, we were kind of just like talking about like business and projects and stuff like that. Um, and it was like a really nice, inspiring chat. Like I love speaking to people about stuff that they're working on. Um, especially when it's like creative projects or like things that they've started themselves rather than like working for someone else or whatever. Um, and I feel like Bali is a really good place to meet people that are doing stuff like that. But yeah, so I'm gonna do some work on that today, I think. Yo. Um, I have done absolutely nothing all day. I've barely left my room. I uh, got some work done and tried and failed once again to get Glastonbury tickets. So I'm taking it as a sign from the universe because I wasn't sure whether to go or not anyway because of the price increase. I was like, 
that is an extortionate amount of money, like nearly £400. Um, so I was in two minds about going anyway, and I thought, you know what, it's so hard to get tickets. Um, I'll leave it up to the ticket gods, and I'll try. And if I get to, if I get through, then I'm meant to go. And if I don't, then it made the decision for me, basically. So yeah, we didn't get tickets. Annoyingly, we got through three times. But when we put our card details in, the website crashed and sent us back into the queue. Um, and yeah, checked on Twitter and it seemed to have happened to quite a lot of people. And then by the time we got through the fourth time, it uh, the tickets had sold out. So what can you do? Maybe 2024 will be the year. Um, but I'm just getting some work done, working on my new side project um had sushi for dinner which was good but yeah probably gonna have an early night ish uh i don't even know what the time is now like maybe it's like nine actually might be quite late um but yeah i think i'm just gonna get a little bit more work done there's a couple of bits i just need to uh, finish off and then probably read my book and yeah that is the end of my first week in Bali. Well, not my first week in Bali, but my first video week in Bali. Um, I'll try and get better and I'll try and remember to actually video stuff so that it's not just always me in my room talking to my camera, which isn't very exciting. But yeah, if you want to follow along and see what I get up to or you just enjoy my random shit chat then subscribe thank you